What makes the ideal pub? Well, all some people want is a village green and an oldie-worldy inn out of a picture postcard. Very nice. But to me, the most important thing is this, the free house sign. People come to free houses because they know they'll find a choice of bitters. Excuse me. So the bitter people choose most in a place like this has got to be worth knowing, hasn't it? Four pints of tartan, John. That's the one. William Younger's tartan bitter. Hey, definitely wasn't that safe. Try it, and you'll know why Tartan's not scared of a bit of competition. William Younger's Tartan Bitter. It's the bitter people choose, given the choice. For every great people, history has a purpose. The people of Romford could have invented television if they'd chosen to. Forget it, love. There's nothing on for 53 years. Romford men considered uh, splitting the atom first. Go on. So small already, it's hardly worth the bother. They had thought of breaking the four-minute mile. No need John be a bus along in a minute. No, Romford was saving itself for a greater glory. John Ball Bitter from the Romford Brewery Company. Romford's destiny fulfilled in points. I've got to stay and clean the uh, Badger's cage. Got to meet the new uh, au pair. I said I'd spray the cactus while Mary's out. I'm staying in to wash me hair. Long Life was the first beer brewed expressly to be drunk at home. So, whatever it is that brings you home, Long Life's the beer to come home to. These are all real pubs and they're all popular pubs. But what makes a pub popular? Real pubs serve real ale. The thing these pubs all have in common is Charrington. Charrington IPA. Not just real ale, but the best-selling real ale around London. In a couple of hours' time, this club will be packed tighter than Blackpool at Bank Holiday. You see, in places like this, you get a choice of bitters from different brewers which is more than you can say for most brewery-owned pubs. So it says a lot for the bitter that people choose most. And they are given a choice. It's this one. William Younger's Tartan Bitter. <sighs> Try it, and you'll know why William Younger's don't need to own loads of pubs to sell it. William Younger's Tartan Bitter. It's the bitter people choose, given the choice. Sergeant, we'll bivouac here by this pub. I think, yes, sir. Sergeant, that's another eight miles. The men are tired. Leave them to me, sir. Then you feel there, will you? Yeah. Watch it. Oh. Halt! Fall out, lads. Sergeant, if that other pub wasn't a good idea, why are we here? The men will follow you anywhere, sir. Tartan Bitter by William Younger. Worth passing a few pubs for. Three pints of skull, please. Sorry, we don't sell skull here. Uh, well, uh, three empty glasses, please. Let's suit yourselves. Imagine that, lads. Full of skull. Clear, golden, beautiful head. And that flavour. Got a real smack to it. Lovely draw for being that, lads. Fancy now you. Certainly. Clean glasses. <laughs> uh, skull drinking. It's the taste that makes you do it. Opening time, I said. I could just do with a pint of skull. Me too. Imagine that, Sid. Full of skull. Beautiful golden colour. Nice full head. You taste it, Sid. That flavour's got a real smack to it. Nice drop of beer, that. If you gentlemen wouldn't mind drinking up. Skull drinking. It's the taste that makes you do it. I come to learn the secret of your taste. Speak! Doki, okey, correction, okey, dokey, earth lager. 
Prepare for the body scan. Age. Taste. Origin Strasbourg. Ah. <coughs> At last! Teleport me to the planet Strasbourg. Tell my mother I shall be late for supper again. Cronenberg. Strong, but silent. No oh, good, Mr. Bullock. I told them we're full, but they won't go. At ease, lad. Leave it to me. Would you tell him, Mr. Bullock? Simple lad. I just said, wouldn't you rather be Hemeling? Hemeling light. Same strength, but low carbohydrate. Wow. Wouldn't you rather be Hemeling? to reach me target to earn a few bob to take me down to market the winkles took some chewing but the rain was nice and warm on the way to the pub i fell in love but i don't think much of your one no i don't reckon you're one roll up your trousers car is best mate wash out your gills and jelly dills are good for your brain with car is best mate you can keep the cost of Brava. I'm telling you, mate, I'd rather have a pint of courage best down market in the rain. Courage Remember a pint of best. Courage, do. At their brewery in Copenhagen, Carlsberg's brewing experts constantly strive to improve and refine their famous lager. But as they consider that Carlsberg is already probably the best lager in the world, they have little hope of success. How oh well, Carlsberg, probably the best lager in the world. The Swiss, who brought you cheese with holes in it, mountain horns that are 15 feet long, and clocks that cuckoo, also have a recipe for a rather special lager, Herleman. A shepherd name, we recognize a good thing, and we brew it. The pantomime season is with us once again, and happily we have arrived just in time to see Aladdin and his wonderful lamb. As usual, he keeps it a little rough, but it seems that tonight the lamb is out of spirits. So, Aladdin tops it up with a cold Heineken. And Abracadabra. Hello, my darling. The genie is refreshed. Hello. What is your heart's desire, oh masterful one? I got my Hanukkah back. And so, as you can see, Aladdin and his genie live very happily ever after. Only Heineken can do this because it refreshes the parts other beers cannot reach. Ingenious. Life in the Bavarian forest was boring. A big event was me and Ronnie Rabbit watching a leaf fall down. A leaf, a leaf! Hey. Then one day I discovered Hofmeister Lager with a picture of my grandpa on it. It had a cool cut on the back of the throat that was so good I decided to leave the forest. And so I found companionship. I found the left hand screw to kiss onto the pink. But most of all, I found Hofmeister on draft. The moral is, if you want poetry, stand and stare. But if you want great lager, follow the bear. Hey. Next. Have you anything to declare? We're carrying rather a lot of extra taste and smoothness, aren't we, sir? <laughs> We have brought for over 300 years, have we? The king's head, the plow, the dog and poachard. Are you staying at all these addresses? Listen, declare your contents or it's shandy time for you. Cronenberg, strong but silent. Your girlfriend's name was Beryl. She was always pretty keen. Looking in shop windows. Well, you know what I mean. She was subtle and persistent, like a lot of their kind. I sort of got the feeling she had marriage in mind. She wanted the proposal, I proposed a stag and Stay sharp. Uh, stay sharp to the bottom of the glass. It was half the lads were quaffing, but Beryl wasn't laughing. The cool, fresh flavour didn't waver by a quaver. 
She said she wasn't happy, and couldn't I see that a pub was not the place to get down on one knee? I was extremely disappointed, I was forced to agree. Stay sharp! Ah, stay sharp to the bottom of the glass. Ah, stay sharp! For nigh on 300 years, Ben Truman has been smiling on the labours of Britain's hop pickers. Year after year, the good hops of Kent, Worcester and Hereford have found their way into Truman beers. Taste our tradition for yourself in a brimming glass of Ben Truman Export Draft or Export Pale. For it's as true today as always. You can taste the hops in Ben Truman. Here, Schubert! What? Coming down the beer keller? I haven't finished my symphony! Come on! A little Cronenberg will loosen your cord! Now you struck the right note! Cronenberg Lager. It's given Europe more pleasure than almost anything. Here, Schubert, what about your unfinished symphony? What about my unfinished Cronenberg, huh? <laughs> E. By Worthington, that's beer. The pubs of Plymouth announce that it's evening, a message the bowlers have well understood. And as turnstones turn their minds towards supper, the talk is of Teddy's last wood. It has drawn to the jack like a magnet, a shot Drake would have been proud to see. He might not have stopped for the armada, but he'd have stopped for a pint of J.C. Sometimes there's only one beer good enough, John Courage. Reception seemed to go well, aren't we, Uncle Jack? Yeah, but it's really livening up there now. We mates getting into the skull. <laughs> you say that again. Oh, I can see it now. Clear and golden. Just a white amount of head. Whoa. It's got a real smack to it. Well, what do you think? I think I prefer it in a straight glass. Skull drinking. It's the taste that makes you do it. Two pints of Hofmeister, please. Ah, good. <laughs> ah. Hofmeister. Great lager. Shame about the wallet! Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be landing in approximately 30 minutes. Once again, may I apologize for the eight-hour delay at Malaga and for the severe turbulence during the flight, which I can assure you is most unusual. The ground temperature at Luton is a mere 43 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm afraid it's raining. Thank you. Five cigars, love, please. And some peanuts, please. I haven't sold a pint all night. This is why. Thank you, Jumbo home brew. They make it and drink it at home for a heartbreaking eight p a pint. Jumbo is a small country brewery's very own beer kit. That's its secret. That's why it makes a pint. It hurts to say it. So good. It could put the pubs out of business. Jumbo, so good it could put the pubs out of business. <laughs> 